What's up guys, welcome to this episode of Beers and Breakdowns. I got my man's Kurt with me, and we're gonna break down a Green Beret movie. There we go. Rambo. We're not starting from the beginning. Nope. Sorry, I apologize in advance. <laughs> so for all you diehard Rambo fans, we will get to those ones. So let's jump into Green Beret movie, Rambo. So the reason I thought 455 was kind of cool was because he's he's connect, collecting snakes. Mm-hmm. The whole snake eater yeah. tie, I thought it was pretty neat. Which is not something that I identify with at all. The snake eater thing? Uh, yeah, I don't fuck with snakes. <laughs> I hate snakes. I actually, after I left the team, my team ended up doing a J set in Thailand, and they sent me a picture of our captain. It was like one of the nights, you know, when you're just hanging out with the host nation or whatever. Yeah. Well, they had cut the head off of a cobra, and it's a picture of him drinking the oh, blood. Oh, no. And like, yeah, yeah, I don't want blood. Don't they want... gave us a gift we had in our, our B team, the company headquarters, and it was this bottle of, I think it was whiskey, and it had a Cobra coiled up inside, and it was sitting there like oh, this. Oh, shit. And it was just one of those things that, you know, you're never going to drink, but it's just like, I, I don't fuck with snakes. Yeah. Not at all. I uh, So I thought, I took the whole snake eater thing kind of to heart. So in Robin Sage, I found a huge rat snake, and I popped it in the head, I grabbed it, I skinned it, I took it over to the fire where the uh, the locals were like cooking, and I cooked it up, and he's like, you gonna eat a snake? And I was like, yeah, and he's like, nice. And I was like, nice. <laughs> and so I cooked it up, and uh, what are the guys called from the from Vietnam that came over to help oh, us? Oh, the... Uh... Mountain Yards. The mountain Yards, mountain yeah. Yards. Those dudes are awesome. Yeah, so this Mountain Yards, he's a badass, dude. He was so cool. So he was like, you going to eat it? I was like, yeah. And so I'm cooking up it, and then I take a bite, and it's fucking tough, hard as nails, dude. And I was like, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, uh. And I was like, dude, it's not edible. And he's like, yeah, I don't think that's how you're supposed to cook it. And I was like, ah, all right, thanks for telling me that. I appreciate After it. you cooked it. After I cooked it. He's like, ah, oh, this guy probably knows. Actually, yeah. no, he's like, you, uh, don't, know you don't know shit. I'm just holding it over the fire, dude. It was so tough. It was inedible. Oh. And then everyone got mad at me. All the people from, like, Robin Sage were like, you killed a rat snake? They eat all the rats around here, dude. They don't ever kill rat snakes. I'm I was hungry. Like, the fuck? <laughs> what kind of mixed signals is this? Well, I guess at that point you're in... Sage, not seer. Yeah, if it was oh, if it was seer, I would have, I would have figured out a way to eat that. Watched a little bit too much naked and uh, naked and afraid. <laughs> yeah. Kill all the snakes and yeah. So I shouldn't have killed the snake because there's no need to. But I just wanted to be a snake eater, so I wanted to eat the snake. <laughs> <laughs> and I did, but you, know I mean? you don't cook snakes. it over a fire. So, oh the yeah, <laughs> the blacksmith. Like look at what he's making. This is where he's making the propeller. He's just always blacksmithing, like, what do you, anyway. Well, it's funny, too, because then, like, when they come and they're, like, after they disappear and he's, like, when are they ready to leave? They're like, whenever you are. And then he's, like, okay, let me make a knife. <laughs> like, he doesn't say that, but then the next scene is him. It's, like, yeah. bro, they're fucking dying. Let's go. We don't got time for you to forge a knife right now. I told you before I can't help you. Well, we need to go and help these people. We're here to make a difference. We believe all lives are special. Oh, this is where she starts to get me. We believe all lives are special. <laughs> like, bitch. I'm like, what You're the going fuck? to Burma. <laughs> <laughs> you see what they're doing to people? They're going to cut your tits off. How is this your fifth trip there and you're this naive? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. But the dialogue here is so bad. Yeah. It's so, it's so bad. bad. Some lives, some no. Really? If everyone thought like you, nothing would ever change. Nothing does change. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> nothing does change. And it's so back and forth, like they don't even have a second. It's like they're playing tennis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the director's like, got it. One take. We're good. <laughs> Live your life. It's a good one. That's what I'm trying to do. No, it's not. What did you do? We came here to help stop the killing. Who are you to do? <laughs> <laughs> that was on mine. Bro, he straight up fucking chokes. Like, yeah, like, dude. Boom. 
all his steroid use like came out of him in that one moment and he was like i'm gonna fucking kill you i think he probably fucked him up for real yeah dude one. but just the fact that this guy is just like no we came here to save lives like they were legitimately about to rape your partner yeah. cut everybody's head off what are you talking about no he like just he saved just your saved life. you i want to watch him slam him again oh dude <laughs> Fucking got him, I son. You 50 times and cut your fucking heads off. You Who are you? you? <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? Come back. The Rocky just came out fucking yeah. super hard right there, bro. The Lou you? I, there was no way that she would just watch someone get shot in the face. Kicked into the water and be like, we we made a commitment. After they're like, give me the girl. Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, we're we're going to have, all of us are going to have our way with her. And she's like, no, we keep going. That was cool, though, in that part, how, like, when they were there, like, you see him, like, look around. He assessed the threat. He saw the all the guns. He knew there was no other way out. And then just... <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's covered in gas after the way he's pouring that. So, <laughs> that's why I put it there. Take your pause it. So like, the way he was pouring the gas, like he normally like you'd be like, Psh, but he's just like, Psh. so yeah, it, like, why? it's splashing all over him, yeah. like gas is just getting everywhere. But I, mean, I, don't, I don't understand, so the reason I noted that was why? Why burn that? You're in the like this crazy environment uh, where there's a you know war broken out between these factions, right? Like, right. why are you worried about there being dead uh, gang members? Yeah, and I mean, it's not like he did it discreetly. Uh, he took it up a little creek, but it was still a big explosion. I, I don't, I don't get that. So, part. like, is, is he trying to? This is why I, my question with is like, are you trying to throw off law enforcement? Are you trying to throw off rivals? I'm sure, I think he was trying to throw off their people. The gang itself to not know like that somebody but, shot him in the, them all in the, like they're yeah, not going to tell don't know. anybody. It doesn't make any sense to He's me. like, who shot you? He's like, <laughs> they're dead. I don't know. Yeah. I think it was just to theatrics. show, yeah, just theatrics. But the fact that he's pouring the gas like yeah. this. And just getting it all over himself. Just showering in it. And then wasted a perfectly good Zippo. Like, I'm sure those aren't <laughs> easy to get in Thailand, like, in the jungle like that. So, like, did you guys ever do any VSO or village stability operations in mm -hmm. Afghanistan? Mm -hmm. you just, like, more of a commando mission type mm -hmm. deal? And, which is something, you know, so, like, the whole VSO idea, the village stability operations, it's, like, where you go into the towns or the villages and you're going to provide some sort of service to help win the populace on your side. Essentially, it's winning hearts and minds. So, like, for what they're doing... Medical. Um, exactly. You're going in, you're providing medical, you know, assistance or aid. Well, that um, was Robin Sage. Like, that's why the Charlies... We It seemed like we all had a mission to do VSO. Mm -hmm. So, like, your job is to build up whatever structures they need, whether yep. they need a medical station, if they need housing uh, fixes, all that stuff. Delta is obviously going to provide medical. Uh, the Bravo is going to teach them how to protect themselves. Yeah. So, yeah, that, like that seemed to be a huge part of Robin Sage, which means it's a huge part of our core mission values. Yeah. And we just got away from it because of all the wars we've been doing. I know for me, and at least in Robin Sage, I, I remember they asked me to draw up this plan for. They wanted to build basically a head shed. And like they gave me this big pit that was already dug out and they're like somebody else started this but we want you to finish it and i drew up these like super i was like fuck yeah because i loved like construction and stuff yeah. like that so i drew up these super elaborate plans and then my biggest fear was that they're going to actually ask me to build it because <laughs> after i turned it in they're like this is awesome and i was like oh fuck <laughs> like if they show up with like a flatbed from home depot like i'm fucked <laughs> but yeah this is something that like in reality you actually go out and do this and yeah. like you'll take care of not only the people the children sometimes the livestock mm. you know like providing whatever kind of assistance you can in order to win them over to your side and be able to help you out by giving you intelligence or whatever whatever the need in the shadows that's how you live <laughs> in the shadows baby not just on the internet watch, watch right here oh. 
just launches a kid into the fire. He takes the kid from the mom and throws him into the fire. It's fucking heartless. It's fucking gnarly. What a dude. dickhead thing to do. And like shit like, like this actually fucking happens. Yeah, like, he's such still a to this piece day. of shit. It's crazy to think how much psychological mind fucking you have to go through to think that that kid is a different he's not human to you yeah. anymore. It's just like what you know the Nazis did. They they dehumanize mm -hmm. the Jews so much that they could commit these atrocities to them and not feel any remorse yeah. or guilt about it. Like even less than an animal. Like yeah. but what they're saying like earlier on in the movie is they're going in they're raiding these villages like they do with this one and then they take the kids, the boys and they're like, these boys are mine. They belong to my army now, right? So these people that are committing these, like, atrocities and stuff were former, mm. likely, most of them, or a lot of them, were former villagers themselves that have now been, like, converted. Yeah, converted, which is very similar to these days, what you see in, like, Africa, certain places, hotspots in Africa and whatnot. It's just wild. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, <laughs> so pause it. When I was watching this the first time through, like on the plane, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I got on here, I, I wrote down WTF gun slash round. Because <laughs> yeah. that dude just got fucking launched. launched. And then the second one, the headshot, his head just fucking Completely disappeared. Off. So that's the funny thing, and that's what I want to talk about is um, when he's first sniping in the scene, it's suppressed. Yeah. And so obviously, like, nobody hears it, and he's taking out the target silently. And then when he's walking, he has an unsuppressed 50 cal, right. the Barrett sniper yeah. rifle. So it's like, what the fuck is it? He didn't have the Barrett before, I don't think. I don't think Cause so. Because when I saw earlier, it looked like he was carrying, like, almost like a, a 110 or something like that yeah. with a suppressor on Which it. Which would make sense. And then all of a sudden, he's got a Barrett, and he's just taking. That's why when I saw this, I was like, what the fuck? Where did that come yeah. from? And then right after this, you see him walking with the fucking Barrett. Yeah. Okay, so maybe he switched weapons at Which some I, point. Have, did you ever carry a Barrett? Fuck no, that thing's heavy as shit. I carried one from the arms room one time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, before I joined the military, that was the coolest gun to me, yeah. like, ever, because of Call of Duty. Piece of as shit. soon as I picked it up, I was like, nope, Fuck <laughs> not carrying man. this. It weighs so much, so all you people that think that the Barrett, the sniper rifle, first of all, in every way, no. The <laughs> no. rounds are too heavy. No. The yep. fucking weapon system is too heavy. The concussion to your TC, or your, I'm sorry, your uh, your spotter. Oh, yeah, your spotter. So your, the, the concussion to your spotter is fucking nuts. You yep. almost have to be touching to, like, not feel the concussion. Yeah. To, or to lessen the concussion as a spotter. But the concussion, the shoot, the, like, everything about that gun is just a big-ass fat nope. fucking no. The reason that gun exists is to take out engine blocks. So you could fucking deaden, like, if you're at a, a a sniper position and you have a vehicle coming in, you want to be able to punch it in the engine block and stall that vehicle out. Yeah. And it's got enough juice to punch through an engine block. <laughs> Not fucking carrying around, like, to shoot at people. If I have it, I'm going to transport it to the position in a vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to unload it and <laughs> set it up. Yeah, and never touch it again. Like, it's the last fucking sniper system you would ever want to carry around. I remember standing by a guy on the range one time shooting one, and I was just, like, he was a couple feet off, and I was, like, standing back, obviously in the wrong spot, and because the way, like, the, the waves go out. Yeah. And, like, when he shot it, it was just, like, taking my breath away almost. Yeah, it sucks. It sucks ass. And it's just... That uh, gun, that, no, no, I've never no. seen somebody been like, we need a Barrett. It's like, no, we don't. <laughs> no, we don't. No, nope, we're good. <laughs> yeah. We have so much better weapon systems. We have suppressed weapon systems, like the 110, the suppressed 110. It's, it seems great to me. I was never a sniper, but we shot them and we liked them. And 110 was cool. 2010 was always my favorite. Not the, not the Barrett. That's crazy. It's like in Call of Duty, when you got the Barrett, you're just running around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> no. It's just like super long, long video Shut stuff. Up. You're talking now. His leg is ready. With the guy. Son of a bitch is gone. Fucking, I know the coordinates. We're not making it to the river with him. Would you shut the fuck up? Come on and tie his leg. Take off his boot. No. No. Leave his boot on. Let us in here. We're doctors. I need a knife. Here, here, here. Pause. Let us in here. What the epic fuck? His leg gets blown off. You're around doctors. 
<laughs> and mercenaries. One of them, the guy that got hit, is a former SAS. So that means that he's probably not the only one that has high level training. Like yeah. the other ones are either Rangers or SEALs or Green Berets or something. And not one of these motherfuckers has a tourniquet. And then he's like, <laughs> take his boot off. What? Well, if you see, when they infilled, half of them were wearing, like, U.S. Army flicks, which is, like, the most basic of basic kit you can get. Dude, like, even an infantryman's going to know, like, you don't need to... The, the, the Just wound, stop the bleeding and keep stop moving. Stop the bleeding. You got to fucking tourniquet above the fucking... High and tight. Move out. Yeah. Like, what do you mean take the... What is taking the boot off going to do? So I've got to perform surgery right Like, now. I want to stick my finger in it. <laughs> so you take his boot off so I can play with the tenons. <laughs> Like, fucking tourniquet that bitch and keep moving. Golly, this is the stupidest shit. And then the doctor stands there for, like, what seems yeah. like minutes staring at this guy. And then all of a sudden he goes, no, I'm a doctor. Well, I could imagine at that point he's like, these guys, high-level training, like you said, they probably know what to do. And they're like, take his boot off. He's like, fuck. Yeah. Come on, guys. <laughs> Morons. All right, never mind. All right, let me step, step in. in. Build a fucking stretcher. Let's move. And then the funny thing is, is to build a stretcher, two seconds later, it's like this professionally <laughs> fucking done. That's what I was thinking. I was looking. I was like, what are they going to use? And then I see it's like multi like yeah. poles. It's like, this is the best stretcher they I've ever They got seen. like fucking 30 sticks of bamboo and it's all tied nice. Like, Somebody damn. in the back was like, thank God, I've been waiting all day. But they couldn't make a fucking tourniquet. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have a tourniquet, but they could build a stretcher in minutes. Oh, man. Look, I've seen Expendables. He does not run that fast. <laughs> the whole point of that for me was, have you seen a, a, a Claymore with an initiator like that before? I, it, it all happened so fast, I couldn't really tell. I couldn't see what it was, but the, only, like Claymore, the only Claymores I remember are having the clacker. Yeah. Having the, the, um, the blasting cap. Screwed in, and yep. then you had your you had to run your wire, well, and then we had a clacker. So that's the whole Geneva Conventions thing. You have to have command debt. So per Geneva Conventions, you can't have any victim-operated explosives. Oh, okay. So obviously he's not abiding by Geneva Conventions here. Um, but so they could do whatever they want. They right. So what it looked like to me is that he set up a trip wire, but then tied it around the scented piece yeah. of her shirt. So when the dog or whoever pulls it. It goes off. Yeah. And he, like, stuffed it in there so everybody, like, pulls or gathers around. Um, but, yeah, normally you wouldn't do that, you know. Normally in modern warfare you would have to stay or have somebody nearby that could operate it. I said something in the uh, Navy SEAL one, Tears of the Sun. He had he had one that was just wireless, and he just stuck it to the ground and then ran away. And it went off. And I was like, how the fuck? I guess that exists. Oh, what, did somebody call you out on it or something? I don't know. I think someone said that they they exist. I was like, okay, I'm not saying that like they a, don't. I've never seen some them. Some sort of like proximity radar. Yeah, or I don't shit. fucking know. Who knows? Yeah, dude. Call of Duty also has heartbeat sensors on your yeah. guns. You can see through walls. <laughs> and then you take the 50 that, cal. Boom, yeah, boom. That's just an optic you pick up off the ground, obviously. Yeah, okay. And then 111. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Pause this. It was next to that ordinance is what they're trying to say. I didn't see ordinance. Yeah, so that whole thing was a giant bomb next to it, and that's where he planted it. What did that come? He just saw it? Or was that the World War II bomb? Yeah, the World War II oh, bomb. Oh, okay, that yeah. makes sense. <laughs> He's about to go off. How's that yeah. saying? Claymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Claymore's a directed, you know, with ball bearings. And yeah, it's yeah. It's a directed attack, so it's... It's very focused. It's not. <laughs> that like was that. like fucking little boy right there. Nuclear weapon going off almost. Oh, oh damn! Chop son. off in the head. Son. head oh, oh my god! Point blank, fifty cal. Bro, <laughs> that was some Kim Jong Un oh, shit, dude. man. He you said point blank, do 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 do. That's some of the goriest shit. Jesus. Dude, he goes straight gory as fuck as he can with this Not one. only was that a, just a one swipe clean head right right off. Yeah. But then, <laughs> then it's just point blank. Cal, boom, 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 explodes his body. Whoever directed this said, take the, take the wheels off. This is <laughs> where everything we got we're throwing at this scene. And I think... I think they took their whole budget and put it into this scene. <laughs> Stallone was like, this is my last Rambo. Yeah. And then after this, he's like, more. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's watch this. This whole part is just sick, dude. Oh, all the blood. Whoa. 
Oh, head gone. Deal. He cuts him in half. He cuts him in half. Pretty sure that will not happen that way. <laughs> He's like, there's nothing. Oh, two of them. And this girl's just having a psychotic episode. Oh, got him. Oh, oh, oh got him big. SAS getting back in the fight with one leg. I'm you spit, spit on, on him? him. <laughs> yeah, come on, man. You already killed him. Like, do you need to spit on him? Her entire scene is to cry this whole time. It goes, ah! Oh, front roll. That always helps. Anytime you can throw a roll for extra flair. Yeah, throw it in there. Nailed it. Oh, he turned it sideways. Kill shot. Nice. Broke his neck and then stabbed him. Bro, you gotta make sure. You gotta double tap that. Oh, he turned it straight. He's probably missing now. Uh-oh. Click, click, click. The whole battlefield heard the clicking of his video. Yep. Why did he wait to shoot the 10 guys that were standing there? He thought he was gonna get them. Fuck, man. A lot just happened right there. So, in combat, how many times, if you're comfortable saying, how many times did you toss in a combat roll or the kill <laughs> shot? <laughs> Zero. Oh! Oh, I'm sorry. I wish I did a. I wish I did the roll, but it's just not tactical to put your face in the ground in a gunfight and then hope oh. and then roll and then hope that you come up with something you want to see. But it looks so cool. Yeah, I know. I should have threw it in there. I remember one time this our EOD guy was walking up, and there was a little wall, dude. It was probably only two feet tall, and Brian. Yeah, you remember this. We were getting shot at, and Brian's just like chilling behind the wall. He was like, I'm out. I'm not playing this game. And he's just laying behind. I was like, What's up, dude? He's like, What's up, man? <laughs> and he started shooting back. He stayed there. But I, I, in my head, I feel like he rolled into that position. All right. And then he stayed there. But I didn't do any, no, no rolling. Yeah. Uh. It just doesn't seem right to just take your eyes off the battlefield. And then roll and then hope that they reappear back where you want them to be. The only people I ever saw do that was the Mongolians. Did they and do it? They did it, and we asked them where they got it from, yeah. and they learned it from the Russians. Because the Mongolians, they would do J-sets with us and with the Russians and with the Chinese, because oh, they're, they're right there. Girls. They're getting all of the input. But we're like, where did you, we're like, we're on the range, or we're, uh, what are we doing? I think they're we're legit, doing like SUT sure. stuff. And this guy fucking just <laughs> combat rolls. We're like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> and then we talked to him later. He's like, oh, the Russians. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? For what? what are you trying that? to die? <laughs> like, why, why roll? He's like, the enemy so confused by the roll. We definitely were confused. They no, they no shoot at you. It didn't look cool, though. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't like you see on TV. Yeah, he violated rule number one. This scene, this whole scene is pretty awesome though. Like, yeah. I don't care how realistic it is because it's just cool. It's just fucking a uh, Rambo fucking with his lips. Again with the lips too. Yeah, this is his lips like crazy. <laughs> and this up here, and he's just fucking everybody up. And he's on so many steroids. It's a, like, Look at his forearms. Dude, Look at <laughs> like, I love that. Did, have you looked into it, Abel, by chance? Did he deny using steroids at all or was he just like fuck it i don't think he's denied it still on yeah. yeah i don't even know if he's been accused of it accused he's I, definitely been accused of it I, I mean i haven't seen it publicly i, I think everybody just assumes it so much that but no, nobody mad. cares like why i why it's would like you be given. mad at him yeah it's yeah. a given he he looks awesome though like if i was him he was like if i gotta make this rambo i'm gonna fucking <laughs> juice enough that could kill a horse <laughs> It's like, bro, you're 85 years old and you look like that. <laughs> Carry on. He's so yoked. <laughs> and he's so old. Like, his face can't even hold his eyebrows anymore. <laughs> like, his skin's falling off. But he's going to fucking tan uh, and get massive. And I think it's awesome. All right, so that's pretty much a wrap with this movie. I mean, I, I call it ending it there. I think that scene was the coolest. It's probably where 
ninety percent of the budget went. No, for sure. Because it definitely was not on a writer who wrote the dialogue. The dialogue was nope. fucking atrocious. I think it was Stallone with a napkin. Yeah. Just like, mm -hmm. <laughs> In he's a crayon. Like, he's like, all lives matter. <laughs> nah, uh. <laughs> yeah, huh. You're not going. Yeah, no. huh. <laughs> got it. <laughs> it's it's a... got ketchup on it. <laughs> <laughs> Just slides, slides, slides it over to the director. He's like, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> what else do you need from me? <laughs> it's like... Do you know I'm a Green Beret? I'm uh, solving problems. You ask for dialogue, <laughs> there's your dialogue. Oh, man. But it was like the whole movie was just waiting for this scene to yeah. happen. And it was sick when it did. It's it a good like, shoot em up movie, yeah, man. Yeah, it was a badass it's a feel fucking, good movie. Yeah, it was cool. Just a lot of blood and guts. The point blank shot with the 50 cal was my favorite. That was it. That was, that was sick. it. He just said, doo, doo, doo. <laughs> that guy just like disappearing. He's like, ah! <laughs> Oh, man. All right, guys. We hope you enjoyed that episode of Rambo. We'll be back for Rambo Last Blood. Yeah. And then we'll restart the series hitting them with the very first ones, yeah. which I think are going to be these awesome. These are fun. I like these ones. Yeah, these are fun. But we will be back with 13 Hours, uh, Lone Survivor. Yep. All those ones that you guys have been asking for, we're not ignoring you. We are on it. So stick around. They're all coming. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Let us know in the comments what you think. We'll talk to you next time.